your stamp level is actually really, really good for someone that's world four, I think. Um, you've done a really great job. Everything is red here and you really like to see that. So you're doing really, really good here. Overall, your progression seems fair and actually seems a lot more than what I expect from someone at this stage in the game. You're doing really, really good here. So keep up the work, man. Hey guys, it's Main here, back again with another IE review. Before the video starts, as always, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Um, I don't know, comments, uh, you know, what you're, what you're working on Eidolon. I think we've done that before, but you know, what are you working on this week? Or day, um, few days, what, what's your goal? What, 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 are your, what are your goals you're trying to get for in Eidolon? Anyways, today we have a little bit different. We've got a lot of people that were asking about World 6 account reviews, trying to get help pushing World 6, trying to get into World 6, that kind of stuff. But today we have someone that's actually in World 4. You can see from his death note, hasn't gotten to Flambages yet. So the only thing he wants to know is how to get through Push World 4. Um, I do want to add a little bit more to that, try to get you geared up uh, for what happens when you hit World 5, what you should be doing for, or what the meta should be uh, once you hit World 5. So let's go ahead, talk about your account. Let's see where you're at, what I can recommend to try to fix any issues you may be having, and let's just you know jump straight into it. So overall, uh, gear is not looking bad, um, doing pretty good for someone that's World uh, world 4, kind of pushing. Uh, so you have Dementia Gear and kind of even Void Gear on your DK. I imagine you're pushing with this character. I fucking hate you for having Ultra and Boxer, though. Um, <laughs> but anyways, uh, my one big thing for people that are pushing World 4 is accuracy is going to be kind of an issue. I don't know if you're hitting accuracy on your DK to get the damage bonus, but just make sure that you are. If you aren't, a great way to improve that is going to be alchemy. Uh, make sure that you're upgrading your sub stat so that you get accuracy in your character. Also, Shaccuracy is going to be great for helping you cap out accuracy if you're having any issues with that. So getting a higher print on fishing, which is more possible now because of the fisheroo bonus. Um, but also the owl is going to help a ton with damage and all stat and hence accuracy. So something for you to focus on if you're struggling with accuracy or damage is some of those, uh, the kangaroo, or the fisher is going to help a ton. Stamps is also going to be a great way for you to scale that. Your stamp level is actually really, really good for someone that's World 4, I think. Um, you've done a really great job. Everything is red here, and you really like to see that because that means you don't have carry capacity, you don't have the resources for it, or you know you just aren't able to upgrade these stamps for one reason or another. So you're doing really, really good here. The one thing I want to point out is, one, you don't have ladle stamp. So you need to unlock this. You need to try to upgrade this as much as possible. This flat cooking efficiency is going to give you more ladles per hour, which is going to help you upgrade cooking. And you do want to do this because eventually you'll be getting to level 11 plates, which is going to scale the cooking bonus you get because of Diamond Chef. So immediate short-term goals is unlock the ladle stamp, upgrade it as much as you can. Additionally, upgrade Long Island Tea as much as you can as well, because this gives you meal cooking speed. Uh, the donut drink for more pet breeding chance is going to help you a ton, so please remember to do that. And I was going to check lab. Um, okay. Which, uh, which fur quack is in lab? Eight. Okay. So you are doing, you're doing the right thing with World 4. You have your characters pushed up to killer bright side in lab, and you're pushing with one character, it seems like which is what you need to do. So you are doing things correctly. Uh, you are progressing World 4 in the kind of right way. So good on you. I think the one thing I want you to focus on a little bit more is going to be bubbles. Um, ideally, um, you want to try to unlock Molt Orange, Prima Green, and Severe Purple. And the biggest thing for you to try to unlock is going to be Diamond Chef. This is going to massively increase your meal cooking speed. Trying to unlock this and get levels into it and then getting your meals to level 11 is going to really speed up your progress with cooking. Right now, your cooking speed is low, which is normal for someone in World 4. Uh, the big thing for you to start transitioning to is one, getting Diamond Chef, trying to get more meal cooking speed, and upgrading the vial as well as stamp for uh, for cooking for cooking meal speed. Uh, this will scale a ton uh, into meal cooking speed early game. This is kind of what you need to focus on, and the vial as well will give you a ton of meal cooking speed to scale off of. This will get multiplied by Diamond Chef, and it's going to help you a ton in pushing cooking. Overall, your progression seems fair and actually seems a lot more than what I expect from someone at this stage in the game. You're doing really, really good here, so keep up the work, man. Doing really good here. Uh, just stay off of sigils. Don't worry about this until you hit like mid-world six, honestly. 
but yeah, big focus right now. Try to unlock more bubbles and alchemy with your uh, with your bubo. Try to do cranium cooking a little bit more. Uh, try to push some of these, specifically the yellow cauldron for diamond chef. Trying to get molten orange, uh, prema green, and severe purple. This is going to help you a ton with again more accuracy and more damage, and uh, more scaling efficiency, obviously. Again, stamps really good. Uh, just ladle stamp. Please unlock it. <laughs> Maybe you try to go back to World 3 and unlock the base damage stamp. If you need more damage to try to hit multi-kill or try to get more damage to kill more mobs in World 4, uh, the base damage stamp right here at Vastiar is going to help a ton with increasing your damage as well. Um, I didn't ask for companions, um, but since you're in chat, do you have any com uh, do you have any pet companions that I, I can check off here? Anything in particular? Only thing is, I'm not really lucky with meal unlocks. It takes how to get ladle stamp for the stamp. I have everyone except Doot. That's actually sick. I mean, it's perfect for where you are right now, because the 25 talent level is going to help you a ton with damage, accuracy, survivability, that kind of stuff. Actually, huge. Yeah. With meal unlock. Can you get ladle stamp again? <laughs> What's the quest requirement here? Croissant. Okay. Where's croissant? Where is croissant? I am blind. Right here. Okay. So meal cooking speed is definitely what you need right now. Um... So, yeah, I the, the best way for you to unlock that is going to be trying to get a print for Sand Sharks, uh, trying to upgrade this vial as, as high as you can. Um, this will give you a good amount of meal cooking speed. Uh, additionally, you want to try to get a print for Skellifish so you can try juicing this out even more. This stamp is going to give you uh, a decent amount of cooking speed as well. He needs cooking to upgrade his cooking. Well, not necessarily. I mean, you can upgrade uh, the cooked meal stamp. This is You can actually upgrade this with money right now. You can get more... Uh, uh, you probably already did this, but you can upgrade this and get more meal cooking speed this way. Additionally, uh, recipe cooking speed, you can upgrade this. You have some in your inventory. You can upgrade this. Uh, that way it takes less time for you to get that meal. But yeah, I mean, cooking is slow. It's going to be slow beginning, so don't feel bad that it's taking you a while to get there. But uh, Ladle Stamp is going to be big in helping you progress cooking. Like, it's absolutely a game changer when it comes to ladle generation and upgrading your meals. Um, I, I wouldn't recommend splitting your kitchens on different meals. I would recommend your characters kind of stick to one thing. Um, cabbage and corn dog is going to help a ton with your cooking speed. Um, these give you a ton of meal cooking speed, and in turn, it's going to help you unlock new meals. Um, I would recommend, if you haven't already, uh, one of the best things to, to buy in World, uh, World 4 is going to be at least one or two Richland Kitchens. It's going to give you 3x meal, uh, meal speed, 2x new recipe seed, and the upgrade cost is going to be easier to get. So it's going to be easier to get more meal cooking speed, more recipe speed, more fire speed, and it's just going to help cooking kind of cycle back into it. So I don't know if you purchased anyone, anything yet from World 4, but definitely that. At least that. I would also maybe recommend trying to buy, uh, if you have free-to-play gems, trying to unlock the mainframe jewels. These, you can get lucky. You have two? Okay, perfect. That's fine then. Um, I would also try to recommend mainframe jewels. Some of the jewels give you meal cooking speed as well. It's like a multiplier. So if you don't have these yet and you have the spare gems, jewels are a great thing to purchase. Um, you do cap out on jewels, so you don't have to like infinitely purchase these. Um, the only thing I wouldn't really recommend buying is going to be console chips, uh, eggs, and early game I wouldn't really recommend pet storage, fence yard space. Souped up tubes is okay, but it, it can help you. It's not the best thing to purchase right now. Okay, and the other thing that kind of people struggle with um, is is breeding. Um, <laughs> you, you're you almost equal to the person that was in World 6, which is crazy to me. Um, if you were here for the earlier review, there is a guide sheet in the Discord you can look at for how to progress breeding. Uh, it seems like 
you are doing a good enough job. I don't need to really harp on this, <laughs> but um, you should look at the guide sheet if you're struck uh, if you're struggling with breeding. Uh, but you should be able to really uh, push this. Um, you're progressing nicely. If you're stuck at any point, look at the guide sheet to give you sort of an idea of what you should be aiming for in terms of the spice battles, in terms of pedarated progression. But I mean, you have mercenary unlocked. You have uh, forager, the fleer. Uh, and you probably have cursory, if I'm not mistaken. So you should be able to maybe get Pet Arena pushed up a little bit. Also, don't forget to do Pet Arena on your uh, Beastmaster with the skill, because you'll be able to do more attempts. So if you unlock another pet battle, you can put another pet in there. might help you progress a little bit more. But yeah, to that note, um, the egg stamp is going to help a ton. The vial for the donut is going to help a ton with breeding chance. So you're going to be able to really kind of juice that out a little bit. Yeah, and there's not really much else to talk about. So let's talk about what you should look forward to when you hit World 5. So you're getting near the end of World 4. You're almost able to kill the boss at World 4 and enter World 5. So when you get to World 5, what you really want to do, take every single one of your characters and stick them on Divinity. The early game goal for Divinity is try to get level 40. Uh, because when you get to level 40, you'll be able to unlock the prayer known as Tranqui. Tranqui will let you level up Divinity outside of uh, outside of the Divinity Altar, and you'll be able to get EXP on your pusher. Your pusher can then leave the Divinity Altar, start pushing World 5 a little bit, and every single other person is going to be stuck on Vitalik. Uh, this prayer style right here to give you two divinity points and 70 XP so they can level up divinity more and also get divinity points as, as much as they can. Um, Vitalik? Eh, Vitalik. I'd say Vitalik. Vitalik's better, in my opinion. Um, and then the goal is to try to unlock this god right here. Uh, the goat god is going to be able to link you in both lab and divinity. So basically you link to this god, you leave the divinity altar, and instead you stick your character back in lab <laughs> and they level divinity in lab at the same time you're going to want to stick here for uh for basically eternity um <laughs> until you get duped so these characters you want to try to get lab level 75 so one you can unlock the chipboard you get a little bit extra pixel range to be able to unlock these so you have to rely on less people in the lab um and then for some of the people you want outside doing skilling you can link them to arctis they're still in lab so you have all the lab nodes active the goal is always at all times you want killer bright side active when you're pushing uh this will give you two times kills really really important the other thing to try to aim for is going to be a uh, misc stamp bonus is going to give you a uh, non misc stamp bonus sorry is going to give you a ton of damage skilling efficiency more ladle generation all that stuff all that fun jazz going to help you a ton the vial doubler is going to help a ton with cooking speed well it's going to help you with everything in your account but mostly cooking speed right now um the goal once you get everyone in divinity have them at goat god they're in lab the next big things for you to try to unlock with your character is going to be certified stamp book as well as first chemistry stat mantra is the best but that's also requires i think divinity level 80 so that's a little unrealistic wait hold on i might hold on hold on sorry that's mindful yeah, Mantra is... Eh. Eh. I mean, you get 7 EXP here for Vitalik. Just saying. I mean, the thing... The one downside with Mantra is you don't get Divinity Points, which is kind of what you need if you're trying to unlock gods. So if you have everyone on Mantra, you're not able to push Divinity, so it's kind of useless. No, I wouldn't do that. I would not stick your characters on Mantra, because the main thing about early World 5 is you need Divinity Points to unlock gods. Because without Goat God, your character is going to be stuck on Divinity Altar for all of eternity. So you need Vitalik to try to push uh, your characters to Goat God. You need the points to be able to unlock them and push. <laughs> you don't want to be stuck on Divinity Altar. The goal is to be off the Divinity Altar and be in lab as quick as possible. Yeah, I mean, some people will be lucky with the points, some people won't. But the goal is to be on Vitalik, get Divinity, and get as high EXP as you can. Also, the EXP you get here is going to weigh, uh, is going to outweigh the bonus you get from Mantra because you want to get level 50 Divinity because that uh, gets you to multi-tool stamp. Poigu. Uh, 
Uh, you need Divinity level 50 to unlock Multi-Tool Stamp. So you want characters to be at level 50 Divinity to finish uh, that stamp quest. Because Multi-Tool Stamp is by far like the best stamp of the game. Second best. I don't know. Somewhere up there. It's 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 top 10 for sure. No, 80 was uh, Divinity Pearls and the Bottle Balloon and Fertilizer. 80 is just nice because it provides more bonus to the links as far as I know. But yeah, once you get to World 5, biggest thing is the Divinity and Lab Grind. It's slow to begin with, but it's going to help you a ton in the end game when you position yourself well. If you push to World 6, you're going gonna, gonna to need to finish this anyway, so may as well do it now. Um, and when it comes to sailing, what's better than multi-tool? I was thinking like Crystal Spawn Chance is good, Gold Food Effect, the Carry Capacity. All that's really good. Anyways... Going back to the review, sailing is going to be something you're struggle with early because you're not going to have a lot of ways to speed it up, but you want to, the big things, as I mentioned, every single review, Fos Retusk. Fos Retusk gives you artifact find chance. This is how you get a higher chance at unlocking other artifacts. So Fos Retusk is a must get to try to get ancient first. Trying to get this to ancient is going to allow you to farm out the materials to upgrade speed and loot value on your boats first. So sticking to the first island, trying to unlock gold bars, getting new captains, that kind of stuff, and then grinding out Fos Retusk, try to get this to ancient to get more artifact find chance. The next big artifact for you to try to get is going to be AD Tablet. It's going to help you a ton. It's going to give you a bunch of sailing speed, which means you can progress to the other islands. So. As you progress Divinity, sailing is going to be kind of in the background, something you want to focus on every every four, every two hours, four hours. Check back to see if you unlock new things and push it. Okay. And last thing I want to touch on, I looked at your gear earlier, but I wanted to give specific advice. Um, when you're... When your characters do eventually leave the jail of lab and divinity, um, you want to start focusing on gearing them up. Uh, World 6 is a big focus on trying to keep your characters at the same level or same power level. So you want to get gear on your characters, spread them equally, uh, equally to try to, you know, make them easier at pushing because you're gonna it's gonna be important later. So the earlier you focus on gearing all of your characters, not just one, is going to set you up for success as you enter world six. So down the line, start focusing on getting your characters into the similar gear lo uh, gear levels, same weapons, same kind of uh, uh, rings, amulets, armor, tools as well. Tools will always be a big thing. Try to get your characters into equal gear. Say like dementia, void gear, uh, luster gear, uh, sorry, luster tools, I should say, trying to get that as well. Worship, try to get your skulls to higher levels, spend some of the salts, get your characters into horn skulls, uh, get them into wax skulls, or ceramic skulls, sorry, and just generally try to push it. You always want more traps, uh, higher trap levels so you get more traps so you can get more critters. You always want more worship skulls so you get more worship charge. Um, always try to push these as much as you can. One of the biggest things late game that people struggle with is going to be worship and traps. So you always want to try to push those, spend your resources on them. There's not a whole lot of reason for you not to. It's going to help you a ton by upgrading those tools specifically. Okay. And since you're still early game, what you want to focus on early is this achievement right here, Checkout Takeout. Spend individual library books. Don't like do the 20 checkout with the, uh, with the, with the checkout arm or the, uh, the automation arm. Do one book at a time. Try to grind this out. When you do Kilroy every single week, spend your skulls on books. And you want to grind this achievement out so you get um, max book level. I mentioned this on Stammerin's review, but talent levels are going to be a big thing later. Especially since you have Rift Slug, you're going to have a little bit easier time doing this. But Bubo is going to have a great time at liquid farming and alchemy farming, really pushing your bubble levels up. Uh, you really want to get talent levels to 200 or so because it's going to give you 200 tentacle, which gives you a three second cooldown as opposed to two second cooldown on your on your kills. It's going to help you do cranium cooking more often, which translates to more uh, more cauldron liquids. So you can upgrade uh, bubbles and unlock new bubbles. You can get more liquid to upgrade bubbles and alchemy. Uh, it's just overall really, really good. 200 talent levels is a really huge thing for your account because you're going to save literal months to years at a time doing alchemy on Bubo. So yeah, um, I mean, you're 
Overall, you're doing really good. For someone that's rolled four, you know what you're doing. Uh, you're doing things right, and you're pushing at an adequate rate to where you're still set up for success as you enter the other worlds. So you're doing a fantastic job. Keep up the good work. And uh, I hope that helps gear uh, sort of your mindset when it comes to World 5, which you should be doing, which you should be aiming to do. So again, if you have any questions as you progress, feel free to reach out in the Discord to anyone. Um, there's a lot of people available apart from me who are able to help you. So please ask questions in there. Um, wish you the best of luck, man. Have a great time.